just the one who'll be talking about finances this morning, finances for your business, that is, this morning. And I have with me this morning in the studio a research and investment analyst with over 14 years of professional experience covering banking, finance, energy, economics, and asset management. Joining me this morning is Olaumi Olatunji. Thank you so much for joining me this Thank morning on the show. Me. All right, it's good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Okay, so um, 14 years, you know, working with finance and all of that, what's the first mistake or what's the one mistake that you think entrepreneurs make when it comes to finances? Okay, so um, when it comes to finances, I, I would think that um, entrepreneurs will make the biggest mistake that uh, has to do with not being properly prepared so just like any soldier military person or you know a group of forces that want to go for a war you need to be prepared so the whole process from the point when you start your business to the point where you want to get the financing you need there's a, there's a series of stages that you need to go through there are things you need to put in place like you know putting the right structures and I can go on and on about you know structure governance but you know we'll probably, we'll probably come to that later yeah. but it's just basically getting the right kind of preparation having the right kind of information that will help you so I think that would that would all say. right speaking of having the right kind of information yeah. our conversation today is about access to capital for entrepreneurs okay. and so we decided to find out the kind of information that is out there and what people think about how to get capital for their businesses. And people sent in a lot of responses. Oh. I'd like to share those responses with you so that okay. if there's anything that needs to be corrected, maybe a wrong belief um, system right. or a wrong um, idea about a certain thing, we might quickly correct it so that we help all the people that sent in these responses. And then our question was very simple. Now, um, we asked, as an entrepreneur, what capital did you use to start your business and how have you been funding it so far? Okay. Now, my first comment is from Toby in August State. Toby says, hmm, graphics business doesn't really need much capital in my opinion. At the time, I just needed a good system and the system, the laptop I got was a very good one, which was a gift from my uncle because it supported my dream and vision. Once I had a system, the rest was easy. In my line of work, in order to record growth, basically you need to get more clients, build on your job, gather portfolio and things will be easy. I found my business from the money I make from clients. I pay from premium subscriptions that make my work easy. I pay for internet. I buy fuel when there is no light. Just minor stuff to help my business grow sharp. Now, for this person whose business is not so much of a heavy lifting business, it right. just does graphics design for people. Now, the main, the primary source of funding for his business is money he gets from his clients. For this business model, mm -hmm. is that the best he can do? I, I think a business that funds itself is like the best thing that you can think about. Like, um, because a lot of times entrepreneurs will be saying, okay, I need funds, I need to get to the bank, mm -hmm. I need this. But I always mm -hmm. tell people that, can this business fund itself? Can your suppliers, you know, can your customers fund you? Or can you start at you know a smaller scale? So, for instance, let's say I want to start a a, um, a poultry farm. Yeah, I want to start a poultry farm, and I need like 50 million. Would I? Well, the first thing I want to do would be to look for somebody to fund me a bank or other. Mm -hmm. Or what if I have 500,000 and I cannot start a poultry farm yet, but I can trade eggs, right? So I can buy eggs at any path of that um, value chain. Yes. Buy eggs and start trading, and then by the time I um, have two million, one million, it keeps growing. Then I have some track record, I have history, and I'm able to save some money, right? And then maybe at later, I may be able to even access the funding, or I might even be able to fund myself you mm. know, over time. Mm. It might not be the 50 million I that had in mind, but I would start with something. So mm. that's, that's really the best. I, I really like his model, especially